Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one because we are going to be playing with the new ColourPop Malibu Barbie collection. I just got this collection this morning. I'm hoping to upload this video either tonight or tomorrow. And yeah, I got this collection really late. So I'm sure if you were interested in it, you've already picked it up, but this is still a perfectly good collection. I still wanted to film with it. I'm gonna find some dupes. So if there were any shades in particular you were interested in, you don't have to buy the whole palette. You could instead just get a dupe and hopefully you can get some inspiration if you have this collection. I'm going to do a look. We're going to do some swatches. We're just going to play a little bit. And yeah, that's about it. It is officially summertime in Canada. It was the long weekend yesterday, or I guess last weekend. So if you're Canadian, happy Victoria Day. I hope you enjoyed your long May 2-4 weekend. Um, it's 31 degrees today, so I'm a little sweaty and I'm a little red. So please don't mind that. Just ignore it. I'm not really looking like a Malibu Barbie today, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, I don't want to ramble for too long. I don't really have any life updates. Oh, I guess I have one. Um, yesterday or Sunday. Sunday, we decided to go through through with our wedding. Our wedding is gonna be on November 20th. We were thinking about pushing it back just because we don't wanna to have to, you know, make any sacrifices. We don't wanna to have to like eliminate dancing in our area. That was like their solution to having weddings was no dancing allowed, which seems pretty stupid to me. And like, you can't have a wedding without dancing. I also don't wanna wear a mask on my wedding day. Anyway, uh, we decided to go through with it in November. Hopefully everything is like cleared up by then. I don't know. I booked our wedding in May of last year thinking there's no way we're still going to be dealing with a pandemic in November of 2021 and here we are six months out having planned nothing because we weren't sure if we were going to have it. Anyway so we decided we're going to go through with it at least try to and yeah that's the biggest update in my life and let's get started on the collection. So this is the little PR card that I got with my box and then it comes with all of the pretty products. I'm so excited. I saw that girl Shea XO swatch all of these and like ugh. So excited, I loved everything. That's the thing with ColourPop launches is like the things that I want, I don't usually pick up because I'm not sure if I'm going to get it in PR. They don't really have like any guidelines on what I'm gonna get versus what I'm not gonna get. So I usually just wait it out. I'm really excited to have this one. So the first thing I'm opening is the mirror. Oh, so cute. It comes in this little box that's so cute. It makes me wanna save the packaging, but like I really shouldn't. And this is the mirror. It smells like new shoes. Yeah, it smells like you walked into Payless. Yeah, it smells like a shoe store. Not in a bad way. It's just like kind of weird. And it's like a little tiny mirror. I'm totally gonna use this. This is perfect for filming. I always go for like a little handheld and usually those are in compacts, but I feel like this is so perfect. Here, let's see if this is satisfying. Oh yeah. Oh, that was satisfying. Woo, it's a good mirror too. It's little, but like, very clear. Awesome. On HBO 1 at 7.15 or HBO 2 at 9.15. My dad's trying to find out the times for the Friends reunion. I'm such a Friends nerd. So he's trying to like figure out where I can watch it because I don't really have anything besides Netflix. So let's go to ColourPop and see. I'm pretty sure last time I checked, almost everything was still in stock. There were a couple of um, sets that were sold out. So you can get the full collection for $79. Let's see how much the mirror is. I think the mirror was one of the items that sold out. Yeah, so the handheld mirror is eight dollars but it is sold out i feel like that's a pretty good price honestly a little piece of merch cute so it also comes with a pair of lashes i'm not sure if you guys know but i'm obsessed with ColourPop lashes i think they are beyond underrated these are in the style doll these retail for seven dollars they look like a really nice style i'm excited to try those i've seen photos of this collection but i haven't actually seen like everything in person this is like the first time i'm unboxing everything then we have the beach party super shock highlighter i like that it's a big compact. I don't know why. I just like them better. I just think the packaging is prettier. How much does this retail for? $10. Oh, that's a little pricey. I feel like their collabs are a little more expensive. I mean, it makes sense because they have to pay to use the intellectual property. So it makes sense, but like it's a little up there for ColourPop anyway. I think this is going to be a nice peel too. Let's do this one. Oh yeah. Oh, that was lovely. So let's see, now we can move on to the palette and then we'll move on to the lippies. I've only seen this palette in photos, so this is gonna be my first impression. Are you ready? First of all, packaging, so cute. Oh, oh the pans are a little smaller than I thought. I don't know why they thought they were gonna be a little bit bigger. I love the little um, stamps in the matte shades. I think that is so cute. I actually really like it. I like it a lot more in person than I did in the photos, actually. And it comes with a mirror as well. Wow, there's a lot of mirrors happening in this collection. Some of 
of my followers had mentioned that this palette reminds me, reminds them, sorry, of the uh, Thirsty palette by Jeffree Star. I definitely see where they're coming from, but I do think it's like fairly different. I think a lot of people are thinking that because of the square pans. And also I think the Thirsty palette has like a lot of those, you know, bright yellows, the bright blue, the bright orange, and then some like neutral shimmers. So I do get the same vibes, but they're definitely different. And then we have three little lip kits. I love how all of the packaging is different on each one. Oh, I'm so excited. This is like the makeup that just gets me so happy and excited. I was feeling really down and anxious the last week. I couldn't put my finger on why. I've been really struggling. No panic attacks, thank God, but anxiety attacks, they are different. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was about, but just getting something like this as a little gift, it feels like Christmas. I don't know why I'm rambling about this. It's just makeup just distracts me from my anxiety. It always has, probably always will. So yeah, I don't know, just little things like packaging just get me so excited. I don't know why I'm still talking when my phone's ringing. Okay, sorry about that. That was my dad. He wanted to talk about the friends reunion again. Also, I don't know why I kept talking while my phone was ringing. I just like, maybe you guys couldn't hear it. I don't know. But what I was saying is that I like that the packaging is different on each little lip set. They're little lip duos. It comes with a cream luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil. Let's see what these look like. So the first one is Golden Beach. Oh, that's a nice nude. I really like the Cream Lux lipsticks. So this is what the duo looks like. It's very uh, nude. Then we have the shade Malibu Sunset. I know there's a hot pink in here. Ooh, yeah, this is this is the hot pink one. Or is it more of a red? Yeah, it's like a pinky red. Ooh, that's pretty. That's the Malibu Sunset. It's just a matching lip liner too. So I'm just showing you the lipstick as of now. I feel like the packaging, I get it because it's Barbie. I just feel like it looks a little cheap personally. I don't know. I don't know what I wish they would have done maybe just like a solid pink instead of being able to like see through it but I feel like the see-through also gives Barbie vibes and then the last one we have is the shade dream house see what this color is oh it's another nude but it's more what is this more it's like a more cool tone nude Ooh, and I think that's it for the collection. So without further ado, let's get into some swatches and then we can do a demo and then that'll be it. Okay, friends, so I've zoomed you in a little bit and now we can do some swatches. I've pulled a lot of ColourPop palettes and a few others that weren't ColourPop so we can dupe them so you can find things in your collection that might be similar. Also, there's a bumblebee and it keeps running into the window ahead of me. Like it's one of those big suckers. So if you hear it, running into the window. I don't know why it's doing that. It just won't stop. We're going to be duping this palette and I'm gonna be doing some swatches for you. There might be one shade or two that you're interested in and you might already have something very similar in your collection. So let's get to duping. So the first shade we have is called Cali Girl. So this here is the shade Cali Girl and ColourPop describes it as a soft golden metallic ivory. Very pretty, but very basic. Okay, so let's go through my pile of palettes and we can find the dupes. I have it already written down. Keep in mind, that a lot of these aren't exact dupes but they are close and they'll give you like a similar effect. So the first dupe we have here is from the Bare Necessities palette and it is the shade Idle Hour. This is Cali Girl and this is Idle Hour. Again, not exact, but they'll give a similar effect on the eye. The second dupe we have here is from the Off Melrose palette and it is the shade Angelino. I feel like you can kind of see the differences here in this light. So here is Cali Girl, here is Idle Hour, and here is Angelino. And the last one is probably the closest dupe. It's from the Sandstone palette. It's the shade Pueblo. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Again, Cali Girl. Idle Hour, Angelino, and Pueblo. So if you have any of those palettes, those are all very similar shades. So the next shade we have in the Barbie palette is the shade Vintage Doll, very beautiful light pink color. I actually didn't have anything in ColourPop palettes that are similar. I don't own the Cloud Spun or I don't know what the other pink palette's called, but I don't own either of those. So I didn't really have a ColourPop dupe. The only similar shade I could find in my collection is the shade Wild Child from the Norvina palette, and it's a little bit lighter. So this is the shade Vintage Doll, and this is the shade Wild Child. As you can see, they are a little bit different, but again, will give a similar effect if you already have the Norvina palette. Also, the Norvina palette that I'm referring to is this one, not the large pro ones. Also, ColourPop describes the shade Vintage Doll 
right here as a metallic baby pink with hot pink duochrome. The next shade we have in the Barbie palette is the shade Come On and it is like liquid metal. It is so metallic. It's like a bronzy shade. ColourPop describes this one as a bright golden metallic bronze. So the first dupe I have is from the Bare Necessities palette. It is the shade Genie. This is the Barbie Come On and this is the Bare Necessities Genie. Another dupe for this shade is the shade Red Earth from the Sandstone palette. I just like to note that this one is a lot drier in formula. These two are much better and much more metallic, a lot smoother. And this one is just not as reflective and the formula is a lot drier. And the last shade we have here is from the Double Entendre palette. I believe it's the shade Uninhibited. So here's the Barbie shade Come On. This is Bare Necessities Genie, which I think is the best dupe. Then we have the Sandstone Red Earth and double entendre. The next shade we have in the Barbie palette is the shade Let's Go Party. And ColourPop describes this as a matte peachy coral. It's also important to note that this one is not approved for immediate use on the eye area just because the dyes may stain the eyes. And these two shades are the closest dupes I could find from ColourPop. These are both from the Coast to Coral palette. This is the shade Angelfish, and this is the shade Anemone. They are a little bit different, but these are the closest that I could find. Next up from the Barbie palette, we have the shade Shine On, and this is described as a cool toned rose gold. This one's so beautiful. I love it, super metallic and smooth. So this dupe is a little more warm toned, but it is the shade Brunch from the Off Melrose palette. And then the other dupe I found is from the Bare Necessities palette, and it is the shade Designer Duds. So here is Shine On from the Barbie collection. Then we have Brunch from the Off Melrose Rose palette and designer duds from the Bare Necessities palette. Next up from the Barbie palette we have the shade West Coast and this is described as a bright matte canary yellow. So of course to dupe this shade I had to dip into the Uh Huh Honey palette. This shade here in the middle is Oh Behave and then this shade here is Totally Buggin'. Oh my god I'm totally buggin'. I would say that Oh Behave is a bit closer. It's just a bit brighter than the Barbie palette shade. Next up we have the shade Best Coast. This one is described as a vibrant matte neon pink and also it is not suitable for the eye area because of the dyes. And this is the closest dupe I could find and it's not even Colourpop. This is from the Fenty Rose 4 palette. I tried checking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette as well as the Kylie Cosmetics palette but the hot pinks in there were a lot more cool toned whereas this one had a lot more red and neon to it. So yeah this is the best I could find and it's significantly darker. So I would say that that shade Best Coast is definitely pretty unique. Next up we have the shade Follow the Sun which is described as a vibrant metallic hot pink. This is also a unique one. I really had a hard time finding anything similar in my entire collection, let alone just ColourPop. So the closest dupe that I could find is from the Trendy in Tokyo palette by BH Cosmetics. This is the shade Anime, but as you can see, it's got a lot more blue to it. It's definitely a lot more purple toned and also nowhere near as reflective. The other closest shade that I could find, I don't even want to call it a dupe because it's not really that close, but this is from the Garden Variety palette. It's the shade Smudge Off and as you can see it's a lot more purple and also a lot deeper and less metallic than the Barbie palette. The next shade we have is the shade Malibu Memories and this is described as a true matte turquoise. So beautiful, love it. And this one was also very hard to dupe in my collection. Everything I had was either way too blue or way too green. The closest I could find is the shade Turquoise from the So Jaded palette by ColourPop and as you can see it's significantly darker. So again, a pretty unique shade. Next up in the Barbie palette we have the shade Zuma Beach and this is described as a warm matte saddle brown. Pretty basic. So the closest dupe I've found is from the Bare Necessities palette. This is the shade Oat. And then this is the shade Zuma Beach. Another similar shade is from the Sandstone palette and it is the shade Big Butte. Big Beauty? I don't, I don't really know how to pronounce it, honestly. Um, so that's this shade here. It's a little bit deeper and has more red. The next shade we have is called Make Waves and it is described as a matte yellow peach. And the closest shade I could find is the shade You're a Gem from the ColourPop So Jaded palette. It is a little bit darker with less yellow, but still pretty similar. Next up we have the shade Surf's Up and this is described as a metallic turquoise with a golden duochrome flip. The closest I could find in my collection is Seychelles from the Riviera palette, but as you can see, it's quite a bit darker. And from 
from ColourPop, the closest I can find is the shade The Pisces from the Zodiac palette. But as you can see, it pulls a bit more green. So I feel like this shade is pretty unique. Oh, I just realized I missed a shade in between Make Waves and Surf's Up. Let's do that one first. Ooh, I'm producing great content for you people. So this is the shade I missed. It's the shade Boardwalk and it's described as a warm matte coral pink. And the dupe that I have is the shade Frosé from the Main Squeeze palette. It's very similar, just a little bit darker. And next up we have the shade 1971 and this is described as a vibrant metallic pinky copper. And the closest shade I could find was from the Main Squeeze palette. It's the shade Baywatch but it has significantly more pink to it. I'm surprised I couldn't find anything more similar because Colourpop releases quite a few copper shades in their palettes. And finally we have the shade SoCal. This is described as a matte bright orange. This one is also not safe for immediate use around the eye area due to the dyes that are in the product. And the dupe that I have from Colourpop is from the Orangey Glad palette and it is Rise and Grind. It's a little bit darker and the formula is not as good but still very similar. Okay my friends I am ready to go and we can start on an eye look. I think what I want to do, I don't know if you can see, but I want to match like the pattern on my dress, like oranges and yellows and pinks, which is perfect because this palette has plenty of that. I'm going to use my little handheld mirror. Oh, so cute. And then I am going to prep my lids with my hydrating camo concealer. This mirror is awesome. It's literally a perfect size for filming. Sometimes mirrors, if they're too big, like they'll like get in the way. Your view of me doing my makeup and that can't happen. So the first shade I'm gonna dip into is this one right here, the shade SoCal. And I'm going to stamp this into my crease. Okay, pretty. Next up, I'm gonna go into this shade here, West Coast, the bright yellow. And I'm just going to apply this above of the orange. I guess we're kind of doing like a sunset eye. Malibu sunset for a Malibu Barbie. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is grab my little Urban Decay uh, Naked The Fix powder and I'm just gonna set the brow bone. I'm pretty sure thunderstorms coming because trees are blowing everywhere. Hopefully I can finish filming before there's thunder. And then I'm just going back in with the yellow shade and just kind of blending things out now that the brow bone's set. And I'm also going to blend the orange shade as well. And then I'm gonna go into this hot pink called Best Coast and I'm just going to apply this color on the outer corner. I kind of wish there was a color that's a little deeper. I feel like all the colors are rather light and there's nothing to deepen things up. Maybe just like a really dark brown or something could be cool or would have been nice. Not exactly the most exciting but it would definitely provide some versatility to this palette. I've been doing a lot of cut creases in my videos lately and we are gonna do it again. I'm just going to apply concealer all over the lid using my e.l.f. hydrating camo. Okay so first on the inner part I'm gonna go into this light baby pink shade called what is it called? Vintage Doll. Kind of had a brain fart there. And I'm just going to apply this to the inner half. Mmm, that's a pretty color. I like that. I really like pink. I really want to pick up those color pop, like the monochromatic palettes, the pink ones. Can't remember what they're called. I know one's cloud spun, like the more baby pink one. But I don't remember what the other one is. Pretty please? Maybe? Okay, and then on the center of the lid, oh, I almost dropped this. I'm going to use this shade here called Follow the Sun and I'm just going to apply this to the center and bring it out. I'm just kind of blending these two together and I'm taking the Follow the Sun shade and I'm applying it over top of that hot neon pink and then I'm grabbing a little more of that neon pink, the shade Best Coast and just kind of patting it over the shimmery pink just to kind of get a blend going. Pretty, I really like this look. Okay, I'm gonna pop off, I'm going to apply lashes, and I'm gonna do all of the other steps that don't have products in this collection, and I'll be right back and we can finish off the rest of the face. Okay, so I did my other eye and I have applied some concealer, but I wanna swatch the lips, like on my actual lips for you guys before I do foundation because I feel like I'm just gonna get it everywhere. So let's go ahead and do that and then I can pop off and do my foundation and I can choose a lip color from there. Okay, so let's start with the nudes. So the first shade I'm gonna do is Golden Beach. Ooh, man, I keep kicking my tripod, I'm so sorry. I need to get lip filler again. My lips have deflated. I feel like this is like exactly my lip color. It has more uh, 
cool pink to it than I was expecting. I quite like that color. Okay, since I haven't actually decided if I'm going to keep this shade for myself, this is the shade Golden Beach. I'm just gonna scrape off the top with a little spatula just so it's still safe for me to use on clients if I choose to. And if I swatch it on my lips, I've contaminated the product and can't do that. I hate to ruin it though, like I don't wanna scrape it, but gotta do what you gotta do, you know? And I'm just going to, I think, apply this with my finger. Oh, it's not the same color. That's so interesting. Oh, that's a really pretty nude though. I mean, not without foundation. I just think that's a really pretty color. Mmm, I like that. That might be the shade I go with. So I'll go ahead and swatch them on my hand too so you can really see the difference in color. Okay, so here is the Golden Beach Lip Liner and then here is the Golden Beach Lipstick. As you can see, they are different shades. This one is more cool tone, whereas this one has more peach to it. So that was the Golden Beach Lip Duo. Now we will do the Dream House Duo. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. How much do these retail for? I'm curious to know that. I think they're, I wanna say around $10, but I don't know if I just made that up. I did make that up. Okay, so they are $13. It's a little pricey, but you get two products, so. I feel like with this set, this is the set Dream House. The lip liner and the lipstick match a lot better than with the first one. Not better, but they're like closer to to each other in color. I really like this shade, it's very pretty. Yeah, that's weird. So the first set, the colors were not similar like at all. And in this one, they're pretty much the same. That's very interesting, I wonder why they did that. So yeah, this is the shade Dream House. It's a really pretty, not really nude. I was gonna say nudie pink, but definitely more pink. It's like a Barbie pink. Imagine that for a Barbie collection. Okay, and finally we have the brightest lip duo. This is the Malibu Sunset. I really like this color. I think this is so pretty for summer. Also, I'm not trying to be precise in this application. This is just for like swatching purposes. I can't see myself using this on someone else though. I'm still, I haven't made up my mind. So just to be safe, I'm gonna use the spatula again. This reminds me of an old MAC lipstick I used to like. And by like, I mean, I used to put Put it on and would not leave the house in it but i liked how it looked i don't remember what shade that was though that is bright that is fun i really like that again with this shade it appears that the lip liner and the lipstick are matching so this is the malibu sunset lip duo okay and while we're here why don't i just finish off the lower lash line so i'm gonna grab a tiny little brush and that really bright hot pink best coast and i'm just going to run this along my lash line. Then I'm just gonna take that orange color called SoCal and I'm just gonna run it underneath. I think I'm just gonna keep to the pink and orange and then do yellow on the waterline. So for the waterline, this is the NYX Off Tropic Pro Liner in the shade Pineapple Punch. And I'm just going to use this to line my waterline. I wish it was a little bit brighter, but it'll definitely do. Then I'm just gonna go in with some NYX On The Rise mascara. And then I'm gonna go in with lashes. This is my favorite part. This is the Doll Lashes. I love ColourPop lashes. I don't think they get enough hype. They're in my underrated products video. Video. I'll link that in the cards up above if you want to know what other products I feel are super underrated. I just feel like no one talks about these and I just really like them. They have really flattering styles. I would love to see them come out with like a range of half lashes since those are super in right now. That would be a lot of fun. I feel like for this collection, one thing that's kind of missing is like a really pretty hot pink blush, like hot pink, like this shade of pink. That would be so fun. Just personally, I feel like that would have been a lot of fun. And then you could have like a monochromatic Barbie pink eye pink lip and pink cheek. I feel like that'd be so fun. I can never talk when applying falsies. False lashes can sense fear, so requires a lot of concentration. Those are pretty. They're pretty natural, but I feel like they do give that kind of doll eye look because they're not flared. The lashes are the longest, like right in the center, which provides that doll eye lift. Love it, very pretty. I'm just gonna pop off, do the other eye, do my foundation, and then we can try the highlighter and finish off with lips and then, uh, yeah then the video will probably be over. Okay, so I have done my cheeks, my foundation, pretty much everything. Just gotta do highlighter and lips now and I can't open this. So this is the Super Shock Cheek in the shade Beach Party, like one of those marble ones. So this is the shade here. Wow, that's pretty. I don't know if it's gonna be too dark for me though. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, when it's not in the light, it might be a bit too dark, uh, but we are going to apply it anyways. Let me know in the comments what your favorite way to apply Super Shock highlighters is because I can never figure it out. I'm gonna try a brush today. I feel like I haven't done that in a while. I'm just being very gentle so that I don't lift my foundation. Cause I find that this product often does that. Yeah, it's a little dark for me, but that's okay. So I'm just being very gentle, trying not to 
disturb the products that I have underneath the highlighter. Is it too dark though? Honestly, no, I don't think so. I totally thought it was going to be. I'm just kind of like using this brush to like massage it in. And then I'm just gonna take my beauty sponge with nothing on it and just kind of lightly dab to try and like get things nice and blended in. Yeah, even still, that still kind of disturbed my foundation that's underneath. I don't know why these products always do that. I figured out a while back like the best way to apply them and I was really enjoying them for a little bit and then I forgot and now I can't remember how I did it. I think that looks good. I think I just have texture on my cheeks that's making it not look ideal. And finally for lips, I'm gonna go in with the Golden Beach set. That's like the nude one. This is like the world's longest video. I've been filming for like two hours. Okay, and and now for the Golden Beach Lipstick. So I'm just going to apply it with my finger. That's a really nice color, I really enjoy it. Okay friends, and this is the final look. I really enjoy how it turned out. I feel really pretty in this makeup. I feel like a Barbie. I feel like I'm ready for summer. I'll zoom you out a bit, so. You're not like super up close and personal with my face. But yeah, I really enjoyed this collection. I think all of it was really pretty. With ColourPop, honestly, you know the price point's good. You know that the products are gonna be good. It's just a matter of whether you like the colors that are in this collection or not. I would highly recommend anything from this collection as long as you like the formula. Like if you don't like Super Shock highlighters, then I wouldn't recommend getting the highlighter. But if that's your favorite formula, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's really pretty. The eyeshadow palette was really nice. Um, I feel like it was a little more unique than I was expecting. I had a couple shades that I didn't have anything similar to it in my collection. But yeah, I think it's a really fun collection. I'm really happy that I got it sent to me. I think that's it. I'm gonna wrap this up now because this is probably the world's longest video. And yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Please don't forget to subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's okay. I just really appreciate you being here. It helps out my channel so very much by you watching. So thank you. Please leave any video requests you may have in the comments down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.